first time ever. Warning act of terror. Unexpected. We are ready to engage with a two-state solution. Some of his most senior cabinet members. India's underwater strength is taking a huge leap forward. Now meet INS Aridhaman. India's third nuclear-powered <clears throat> ballistic missile submarine or SSPN. This massive 7,000-ton submarine is designed to carry India's nuclear deterrence deep into the oceans, silently and powerfully. Today we will explore why this vessel is a game-changer for India's defense and is nuclear nuclear triad now INS Aridhaman is part of India's advanced technology vessel project or ATV built by the shipbuilding center in Vishakhapatnam with support from BARC and DRDO now this submarine is designed to operate undetected in the deep seas it is nuclear powered meaning it can stay underwater for months without surfacing a key feature for stealth operations during deterrence patrols. In simple words, while we see ships and aircraft on the surface, Aridhaman can silently carry India's strategic weapons far from prying eyes. Now let's talk about what makes INS Aridhaman truly special. First, it is equipped to carry more K-4 missiles, each with a range of 3,500 kilometers compared to India's first two SSBNs. It's more advanced than INS Arihant and INS Arihat, India's first two submarines of this kind. As part of India's underwater nuclear deterrence, it ensures that India can respond to threats even if other parts of nuclear triad are targeted. Fourth, the submarine is expected to be commissioned in 2025 Strengthening India's nuclear triad with land, air, sea based capabilities. Fifth, it is designed to operate undetected keep deep sea patrols, making it virtually invisible to enemy surveillance. India's nuclear triad is the backbone of its strategic deterrence with missiles on land, aircraft in the sky, and submarines in the sea. Now, Aridhaman completes the triad underwater. Why does this matter? Because a submarine like Aridhaman can remain hidden in the deep oceans, ready to launch missiles if needed. This is called a second strike capability, meaning even if India's land or air-based nuclear assets are attacked, Aridhaman ensures retaliation is possible. Simply put, it keeps, it keeps India safe by making sure no one can even think of attacking without consequences. Now, Aridhaman is built with advanced stealth technology, reducing its detectability underwater. The submarine can carry more K-4 missiles than it predecessors, giving it stronger strike capabilities. The crew and technology on board are designed for precision, ensuring that the missiles hit their targets with accuracy, even from thousands of kilometers away. This combination of stealth, speed and firepower makes INS Aridhaman one of the most powerful underwater assets in India's naval fleet. India is not just building submarines, it's building a credible underwater deterrent. With INS Arihant, INS Arighat and now INS Aridhaman, India's SSBN fleet is stronger, stealthier and more capable than ever. These submarines are crucial for strategic stability in the Indian Ocean region, deterring potential threats while securing India's national security interests. Once commissioned in 2025, Aridhaman will give India greater flexibility, deterrence and power projection under water. Now, INS Aridhaman is not just a submarine, ladies and gentlemen, it's India's silent guardian in the deep seas, equipped with advanced missiles, stealth technology and nuclear power, it competes, it completes India's underwater nuclear deterrence and strengthens the nation's 
nuclear triad for india that's a message to the world we are self reliant capable and ready to protect our sovereignty above on and under the seas if you find this video informative informative don't forget to like share and subscribe to mnd channel for more such updates on india's defense and strategic capabilities that's all from my side in this video i'll see you in the next video jai hind and jai bharat